Good morning, Newton North. I'm Eric Liu. And I'm Caitlin Agnew. Attention seniors, if you would like your senior portrait taken by Prestige Portraits, they will be at North this Friday, November 17th from 3 to 8 p.m. in the theater entrance lobby. A postcard is mailed home with an appointment slot. Please confirm, change, or cancel this appointment before Friday if you are choosing to have your senior portrait done another way. Then, please email it by December 15th to newtonianyearbook at gmail.com. The senior class panoramic photo that was supposed to be taken on October 25th has been rescheduled for this Monday, November 20th at 2.30 p.m. on the stands of the multi-purpose field. Please come be a part of this picture. This Sunday, November 19th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., the Mayor's Office for Cultural Affairs is hosting the Multicultural Festival at Newton City Hall. The festival is free to the public and they are also short on volunteers to help with arts and crafts activities and would love some help from high school students. If you are willing to assist, please contact Jeannie Smith at 617-796-1540. Have you seen a growth in stubble this month? That might be a result of Movember. Reporters Ben Feldman and Will Marsh tell us more. Facial hair is a great form of self-expression, but recently during the month of November, it's become a statement of something greater. We sat down with Italian teacher Mr. Evans to learn more. So, Movember is all about raising awareness about men's health issues. Originally it started with um, prostate and testicular cancer, but just men's health is issues in general. And um, it's basically, the moustache is to uh, raise awareness for people to start a conversation, like, why on earth are you growing that? And uh, it's like a, you're a walking billboard encouraging people to, to get a, an appointment with the doctor, get themselves checked out. And uh, I decided I should uh, do it myself, but also encourage friends and colleagues to do it. And here at North, the theme of Movember is definitely prevalent. The library have put some, done some amazing displays the last couple of years. Uh, the display cabinet as you enter on the right hand side and then just sort of various moustache paraphernalia around the, uh, around the library. And I know this year they're going to do, uh, do it again, but also focusing more on what the message of Movember is. And it's a bit of fun, but also it's a very serious message. Reporting for NNTV, this is Will Marsh and Ben Feldman signing off. Thanks, guys. The SFA recently approved a bill to open Main Street and the Cohen Lobby to third lunch for socializing on the first floor. Students are welcome to eat at the current tables on Main Street with more tables soon to come. Please make sure you clean up after yourselves and your peers. This is a trial that will last through November, so please act respectfully. At the time, the SFA will assess how things are going and decide how to proceed. Haven't joined a new club yet? Come try out the new yoga club. Meetings are every Thursday during X Block in the dance room. Transitioning together applications are due room 110 by Friday, 1117. Applica applicants will be notified if decisions are of decisions by December 22nd. The Newton North girls volleyball team will play Barnstable High School in the state semifinal game today, Wednesday, November 15th at 5 p.m. at Taunton High School. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and we want to know what you're thankful for. Reporter Maya Matthews brings us the answer. So as we all know, Thanksgiving is around the corner, which is a wonderful time to hang out with friends and family. So we decided to walk around Newton North and ask students and faculty, what are they doing over the Thanksgiving break? Oh, Thanksgiving's the best. I mean, be with family, get to watch football, friends, great food. I think definitely it's like a time to reflect about the year and you just get together with all your friends and family and you're just having a really good time. You just forget everything that's bad and you're just like laughing all the time. I'm most thankful for all my friends who are sitting all around me because it's lunch. <laughs> you get to like stay home and be happy and you eat. And you eat. Yeah. And you eat a lot. Yeah. Yes. Oh, um, pumpkin pie. It's my favorite. Absolute favorite. Yes. Okay. With and then... whipped cream. With whipped cream. I'm excited because Thanksgiving involves lots of food, especially cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Yes. And then, so what are you most thankful for? Cranberry sauce. Uh, being with my family, you know, watching football, playing football. Playing football. You got a game? Yeah. Against Brookline. Without a doubt, Thanksgiving Day rivalries, the the, uh, the field side reunions. You got to get there early, though. Got to get there early in the morning. No sleeping in on Thanksgiving. You got to be on the offensive. Get there early, claim your spot, find your group, enjoy the game, and out. 
So I think it's safe to say we'll all be enjoying wonderful meals and our friends and family over this Thanksgiving break. Maybe the meals more than family for some, but either way, we hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. For NNTV, this is Maya Matthews signing off. Thanks, Maya. That's all over this week's announcements. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>